welcome to Bread Man TV, and this is I See Everything. Let's get straight into it, big coach. Dr. Umar Johnson, a self-proclaimed activist and an advocate for the African-American community for the past decade, has been asking for money to open up this school, the Frederick Douglass School, the Frederick Douglass Academy, to be exact. But the school remains boarded up to this day. So is Dr. Umar really helping the community or is he running a decade-long scam? It all started with the promise to revitalize an abandoned school and create a safe haven for the African-American children. But as the years went by, that promise remained unfulfilled and hope turned into frustration. Countless fundraisers were held, millions of dollars donated, and yet that school remains a mere symbol of broken dreams. In this latest live, here you have Dr. Umar not only asking for more money, but now he's asking you to give free work, volunteer work to paint a school that you can obviously see that is still boarded up 10 years later. Matter of fact, don't take my word for it. This is I see everything. Let's rotate, big coach. I think I think the spirit is telling me the FDMG paint day is going to be next month. I think the spirit is telling me that the FDMG paint day is going to be in December for my loyal donors. We don't need everybody. We don't need everybody. We probably going to put three people per room. That's about. We don't need no more than. Thirty to forty. We only need about 30 to 40 people maximum. So if you're a loyal donor and you want to paint, text myself. If you are loyal, if you don't donate to the school, if you haven't donated, you can't paint. We don't need you. Okay, but if you're a loyal donor and you want to paint. So if you a loyal donor and you want to paint, text myself. If you a if you don't donate to the school, if you haven't donated, you can't paint what I need you. Okay, but if you a loyal donor and you want to paint, you've been donating, you've been riding with us for these whole nine years, text my cell, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a donor to the Frederick what color y'all want the schools, family? What color y'all want the schools, family? Text my phone and say, Doc, I would like to come paint. And then I'm going to tell me, and you need to say how much you've donated. Waiting, y'all. I'm tired of waiting. We painting next month. I'm tired of waiting, family. We painting next month. I'm tired of waiting. What we going to do? You got a color scheme idea? Who going to decorate my office? Where the queens at that's going to decorate the principal's office? Text your name, your city, how much you donated, and say I would like to pay. What a queens at that's going to decorate the principal's office? Can I get some queens to do What color is my carpet? What color is my desk? What color is the bookshelf? What color is the curtains? What color should the curtains be in the classroom? Talk to me, family. Talk to me, family. Talk to me, family. Hit the cash app. We got to buy the paint. Hashtag. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Stop worrying about where my wife's at. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. What color do y'all want the bathrooms? What color is the teacher's lounge? What color is the school library? What color is the parent visitor center? What color is the activity room? Talk to me, Africans. What color we gonna paint these classes up, family? Oh, yes. Burberry curtains. You must be out of your mind. You think I'm going to decorate my school with some expensive European ne Negro type stuff? You think I'm going to have some Gucci curtains 
in a Pan-African school? Some Burberry curtains in a Pan-African school? You think I'm going to have some Louis Vuitton curtains in a Pan-African school? You sick slave. What makes you think I would dare decorate a school for African liberation with a whole bunch of European symbols and names and titles? Get off the plantation. You Get off the plantation, you damn Uncle Tom. Get off the plantation, you damn Uncle Tom. I don't know about you, but it seems outlandish to think that we could donate all of this money and still be asked to come and paint a school that is yet to be open. I want you to open your eyes and see everything, big coach. Critics argue that the school project has become nothing more than a cash cow for Dr. Umar Johnson. They claim that he is taking advantage of the people's genuine desire to help their own community, using their hard-earned money for personal gain but there's more to it than just the money numerous volunteers have expressed their disappointment in dr umar's lack of transparency and organization they tell stories of unfulfilled promises missed deadlines and consistency of changing the narrative as the years pass the school remains boarded up and the community's hope is shattered People are starting to realize that Dr. Umar's words are hollow and his actions sometimes are questionable at best. The community's trust is dwindling. So, the question remains, is Dr. Umar truly working for the betterment of the community or is he simply running a 10 year long scam? The evidence seems to point to a troubling direction. Thank you for watching Breadman TV and I see everything. We encourage you to question those who claim to advocate for the community and always demand transparency and accountability. Subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content, big coach. Remember, don't get hit with the oopty wop This is Breadman TV and I see everything.